Well, four, five, six, we are in week three of June and I have Pastor Casey here with me, which is really yeah. awesome. He was with us in February. Mm-hmm. I do believe. Yeah. yeah February. There and was snow on the ground. Yeah. 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 And it was cold. <laughs> <laughs> Mind you, it's still kind of cold. As it's still it. cold. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully when you watch this, it will be much warmer. Yeah, hopefully. <laughs> um, okay, so I was wondering mm. who your favorite superhero is. I would say I have a lot of them. There's favorite superheroes, and then there's just like one like group of superheroes that I really love, which is the Marvel mm-hmm. superheroes. I particularly like Loki. Um mm-hmm. because a lot of people don't really pay attention to him because there's mm-hmm. Thor. And so for me, he's like an underdog, you know, and uh, he also has really long hair like me. So I like that a lot. Oh. Um, <laughs> that's why he's one of my favorites. But yeah. I, I just like that, like behind everything, he does have a kind heart and he just mm-hmm. has a hard time showing it. And like, because people don't give him a chance or they, mm-hmm. yeah, I love underdogs, you know? Yeah, that's amazing. I think, um, yeah, for me, like I love the Falcon a lot. Oh, wow. And yeah. I think I think he also has a little bit of an underdog situation mm-hmm. happening. Um, mm-hmm. I mean, I think they're all they're all superheroes. So like, yeah. are they really underdogs? I don't know. But like, yeah. probably not to me, but like in mm-hmm. the world of Marvel and the world. Of yeah. Superheroes, yeah. Um, and I think sometimes you can kind of get focused on like the main character, the big like yeah. you're saying, like Thor. Right. You yeah. get focused on that. And sometimes you you can like miss the underdog or they're unexpecting or whatever right yeah yeah exactly and it's like uh they kind of come out of nothing or nowhere and then they they become something so great and really impactful you know yeah and i think we can do that with ourselves on a less um superhero s page (laughs) but like i think sometimes we can kind of put ourselves in the shadow or think like, ah, mm-hmm. that's not for me. That task isn't for me. That job isn't for me. But like, sometimes God still wants to use us. <laughs> like, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, sometimes I think we can count ourselves out before we mm-hmm. even ask God where he wants to, what he wants yeah. to do. Yeah. And that's, I think one of the most powerful things about today's story, you know, the mm-hmm. story of Gideon, Gideon, he kind of didn't think he was the man for the job. You know, he didn't have any confidence, but he trusted God. Mm -hmm. And that was the important part. And that, you know, the Israelites that he was in charge of would overtake their enemies, you know, even with just the 300 men that they have. Right. I know. I know. Part of the story that I think is so, uh, it's so weird and interesting to me, but like (laughs) when they go down to get the water before they fight and God's like, there's still too many men. And he says like, some people will lap it up, will like put it in their hands and lap it. And some people will just scoop it. And the mm-hmm. people who lap it, like take them. And there's only 300. And I'm like, yeah. that's such a unique way to like whittle an army down. <laughs> yeah, I know. Uh, I know. But that's a amazing example of how much Gideon trusted God. Right. Yeah. Like mm-hmm. willing to do even the things that seem a little, yeah. a little unique. <laughs> yeah, that's right. And so, yeah. yeah, like I just love the fact that when God wants to use someone, he, he can, like, it's just about that person having Mm -hmm. a willing heart, you know? And so why don't we jump into worship and watch the story and then we'll be back after. Can't wait. My check. One, two, one, two. Are y'all ready? Are y'all ready? Y'all ready? Press play.
Cause us, we know we've been long here Because of your love for us that goes on and on forever Jesus, we know you are with us Wherever we go, you're there We'll always be together So sing along with me For all the joy he brings It's going down Get in the mix We're not stopping song, we have Brandon singing La Zagna. <clears throat> oh, Mrs. Avery, you came to me eating a plate of lasagna. Why hasn't he turned his chair around yet? Am I not passionate enough? Am I too passionate? I knew this was the wrong song choice. No one wants to hear a song about lasagna. Come on, Brandon. You can do this. Make him turn that chair. Make him feel the pain and joy within you as you sing the last line. Lasagna. Brandon, that was beautiful. Uh, whew, there we go. Brandon, it was beautiful. It, it, it stirred my soul deep inside. It was a multi-layered performance, like, like lasagna. It's got multiple layers, right? It, I, it, that's why I guess you, it's like lasagna. I don't know what's going on with this chair. It won't stop spinning. Oh! Everyone, I'm Brandon. And I'm John. And welcome to the So and So Show. And uh, John, uh, uh, okay, ready? Mm -hmm. Kick it, jump it, wiggle it, break it. Uh, oh, oh, come on! <laughs> hey, question for you. Yeah. What was that? I have this game called Dance King, and I'm trying to beat my nephew's high score. He challenged me to a dance off. Oh, cool. Can I try? Yeah, sure. Here, right. you'll need these. Oh, okay. Why do I need these? Those are the controllers. Oh, great, great. Do I have to put on the rest of the costume as well? What costume? So I just put these gloves on then and... Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Okay, ready? Yeah. Here we go. Oh, well, okay. Ready? Kick it. Spin it. Kick it. Floss it. Break it. Jump it. Break it. Wiggle it. Kick it. Kick it. Spin it. Jump it. Oh, oh. oh wow. That is tough. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Phew. Right, there we go. Ready? Yes! Yeah. Spin it. Wiggle it. Spin it. Break it. Floss it. Jump it. Kick it. Oh, oh man. Oh. I'm never 
gonna be able to do this. Oh, no, no, come on, you're a great dancer. No, apparently not as good as my nephew. He's gonna talk so much trash about this at our next family oh, reunion. Man. How old is he? Almost four. Okay, look, I think you can do this, buddy. No, I yeah, can't. Yeah, you can. All you need is a little bit of confidence. You got this. You're right. Yeah. Ready? Yes! yes. Since he was a young gent, his feet were made of fire. From the playground to the churchyard, all the people would admire. His moves have no equal, no matter who you bring. My middle-aged co-host sure dances like a king. He kicks like a rocket and twirls like a top. Jumps like a kanga, you know he can't be stopped. to believe it here, here, and here. Ah, ow, oh, ouch, yeah, oh, this is hot, hot fire, woo It's Bible story time with Kellen. With me, yeah! What's up, my good people? Hey, not much, Kellen, you? Just here to tell the Bible story. Well then, by all means, take it away. Our story today comes from the book of Judges. Now, the Israelites had turned away from God. And when that happened, God's enemies came and destroyed the Israelites' crops and livestock. God's people were so terrified, they hid in caves from their enemies, the Midianites. Hey, Bert, you see any of them Israelites around here? No, but I see some of their crops. Oh, ho, ho. destroy them! Okay. Yeah, go. Oh, yeah. Oh, hey, Bert. <laughs> Catch! <laughs> 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 And the cow jumped over the moon. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, yeah. Same time tomorrow? See you then. All right. <laughs> oh, please, God, help us. <laughs> God heard his people's prayers. He had a plan to rescue them. So God sent an angel to a man named Gideon. Oh, I hope no one destroys this grain. Gideon! What? Oh, uh, who's there? <gasps> Mighty warrior, the Lord is with you. Uh, pardon me, sir. Uh, the Lord isn't with us. He's deserted us. He handed us over to Midian. I am sending you to save Israel from the Midianites. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> pardon me, sir. Uh, are you talking to me? I mean, I'm the least important family member in the weakest family of our tribe. I will be with you. Uh, okay. Could you give me a sign so I'll know it's really the Lord talking to me? Um, oh, here. Take this bread and meat as an offering. Put them on this rock. Oh, okay. There you go. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. <gasps> Whoa! <gasps> Whoa! Gideon 
even knew God wanted him to lead the Israelites, but he still wasn't confident he could do it. So he asked God for two more signs, and God patiently reminded Gideon that he was not alone. So Gideon gathered an army of 32,000 men. With this army of 32,000, we will defeat the Midianites. <laughs> Gideon. Gideon. Oh, Lord. You, you have, have too, too many, many men. men. Oh, too many? God told Gideon that if the army had too many soldiers, the Israelites might think they defeated the Midianites all by themselves. The Lord wanted his people to put all their confidence in him. So God told Gideon what to say. Okay, so here's the deal. If any of you are scared, you can go home. What? what? Huh? Did he really? Say this? No, I don't believe him. This is some kind of a trick. Oh, no, no, no. Come on. Oh. Nope. Not a joke. If you tremble with fear, you can go. All right. Okay, then. Uh, hey, See yeah, you. Yeah. No day. How's that, God? Still, Still too many. <sighs> it's true. God wanted even fewer soldiers. He told Gideon to take his army down to the water to drink. How they drank the water would determine if they stayed or went home. All right. If you lap the water up with your hands, you can stay. Everyone who got down on their knees and drank directly from the water can go home. All right. Okay, uh, then. Hey, See yeah, you. Yeah. No day. Well, okay. How many are left? 300. Oh, boy. We got hey, this. No, don't worry. Let's go do it. Okay, yeah. if you want. So Gideon and his army of only 300 men prepared to face an army of 130,000 Midianites. It seemed impossible, but through it all, God was with them. Everyone here? Yeah, we're right yeah. here. No, yeah, we're in okay, boss. Duty. Okay. All right. Everyone gets a trumpet. And a torch with a clay jar over it. Okay, that seems a little less okay. effective. I don't know what sure. you're doing. Yeah, now, that works. tonight, we'll go to the Midianite camp, then watch me and do what I do. Yeah, yeah, okay. we're, we're, we're with you. Yeah, yeah we're, we're behind we'll you. Do what you do. Around 10 o'clock that night, the Israelites went to the place where the Midianites were sleeping. All 300 of the Israelites had a trumpet and a torch covered by a clay jar. So imagine you're asleep in the middle of the night, and all at once, you hear the sound of 300 trumpets. Break the jars! The Israelite army ran into the camp, broke their clay jars, and revealed the 300 torches. The Midianites were so confused. They thought they had been attacked by a giant army. They started fighting their own people. The Israelites chased the Midianites away. God rescued the Israelites, and in the end, they asked Gideon to be their ruler. But Gideon said, no. He said God would rule over them. The end. Action-packed story, Kellen, thanks. Absolutely. I love how God showed Gideon and all of Israel that he was what they needed the whole time. Yeah, and I loved how God used Gideon to do something amazing, even though Gideon was just a normal person. I mean, he wasn't a superhero or anything. It's true. God can use any of us to do great things. That's why we should put our confidence in him. Really great. Thanks, Kellen. Anytime. I'll see you guys later. Bye, man. Wow. God can use any of us. He, well, he could use me. Brandon. Me. I know. But how, Brandon? How? Let's find out. Reveal the question. How could God use you? That's what I'm trying to find out. <laughs> Maybe God can use you to stand up for a friend who's getting picked on. Oh, or he could use you to help a sibling with their homework. Good one. Uh, God used you today to help give me the confidence to beat my nephew in Dance King. That's great. And God used me to teach my nephew humility. Your high score is toast, Lance. But he, he beat me already. Yeah, four-year-olds are talented. Almost four. 
We'll see you next time on The So-and-So Show. Hey, you, you, you want to dance? Of course. Wow. Uh, can you imagine like already kind of questioning and being like, can I do this? Can I lead the charge? And then God kind of says, actually, you know, you had 32,000 men. Now you have 300. Like that would be very unnerving. I know, like you thought you were nervous with thirty two thousand. Yeah. Here's yeah. three hundred. Like I'm just I know, like, yeah. Wow. Man. And and he, I'm sure, wrestled with God a little mm. bit. But at the end of the day, like he trusted him and he trusted his plan. Yeah, yeah. And you know, we probably won't find ourselves in a situation like exactly like Gideon. Um, <laughs> but we, you know, we can find ourselves in situations that, like Brandon and John had mm-hmm. talked about at the end of the video. Yeah. And I think knowing that God can use us no matter what, like no matter what our situation is, no matter what our circumstances are, I mean, like God Mm -hmm. can still use us and and wants to. Yeah. And, you know, confidence usually isn't about being even the best, right. Or like having the most of the most, you know, it's just the confidence that like who we are and who God says we are you know, and who God is and that we can trust God no matter what. Yeah. And, and you know what, like, like we talk about lots of times, it's like growing a muscle, right? It, Mm. you don't do five bicep curls and have these massive biceps. That's just, that's not how it works. (laughs) Like you have to put in the effort and you have to put in the time. And so Mm -hmm. maybe like, maybe you need to stretch your trust with God and really grow Mm -hmm. that muscle. And that might look like praying more, you know, listening to worship music more, asking mm-hmm. questions, like that's a mm-hmm. really good way to build trust, I feel like, or reading your Bible. Yeah. All those things are, um, yeah, just ways you can build your trust so that when God asks mm-hmm. you to do something, you can know that he's going to be with you and he's going to equip yeah. you for the for what's ahead. Yeah, exactly. So Casey, I'm wondering if you would pray for us today before we go. Yeah, of course, I would love to. So let's pray. Heavenly Father, thank you so much that we can place our confidence and trust in you and that you will never fail us and you will never leave us to do anything alone and you'll always be with us. Thank you that you can give us even situations where we can grow and we can learn to be even more trustworthy of you and we can learn to trust you in in all the big and small ways and all the ways uh, at home or outside the home or school or whatever it is that we're doing. Thank you that you um, are patient with us as we learn to trust you more and more. Thank Mm -hmm. you again for speaking truth into our lives. Thank you that it's what you say about us that matters. And so remind us through people that we love and through uh, stories in the Bible of who we are in you. Thank you so much for the story today. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 So thank you for being with us today, Pastor Casey. Yeah, what a story. I loved it. Right. I know. It's one of those ones that I feel like no matter how many times I read it or study it, I'm still like, whoa, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's crazy. I want to go. I want to go read it again. You know? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so thanks for being with us and we will see you guys next week. I will see you guys next week. <laughs> Bye. Bye.